In this video, you'll see how the tools in SOLIDWORKS Simulation Standard allow you to reduce your time to market through its speed of virtual testing. Here we have a typical example of a gripper assembly that will require validation as we work through the design process. We need to make sure that our component does not fail under a working load, is as light as possible without sacrificing the component's structural integrity and we need to ensure that the component's factor of safety does not drop below 1.5. Simulation standard can take into account the full range of materials in use across our design. This is a great step up from Simulation Express where we can only work with single bodies. We need to ensure that the right contacts are applied to our components in order to properly simulate the interaction between them. Contact settings describe the interaction between part boundaries that are initially contacting or come into contact during loading. SOLIDWORKS simulation allows us to either manually apply these contacts or automatically determine the contact sets between selected components. Next, we need to determine our fixtures. I will apply fixtures that closely resemble the gripper holding onto an object. I can apply fixtures that represent interactions to other components on the assembly, such as the pivot on the holder part. The wide range of fixtures can also help you create more efficient simulations. Two specific fixtures that come to mind are symmetry and cyclic symmetry. The use of symmetry fixtures in analysis greatly reduces the model size, and when appropriate, taking advantage of symmetry can help us reduce the size of the problem and obtain more accurate results. We will apply a load in the direction representative of the stroke of the piston. From here, all we are left to do is apply our mesh and run the study. Meshing is a very crucial step in design analysis. The automatic mesher estimates the global element size for the model taking into consideration its volume, surface area and other geometric details. This really reduces the guesswork and allows us to get more accurate results in faster time. Now that we have run our analysis, we need to interpret the results. We can see that the maximum stress is 42 MPa. This is well above the yield strength of the material. We can also choose to show the plot with symmetric results. Displacement can also be very important, showing the deflection of our component under loading. We can also see the minimum factor of safety is 0.65. This is well below our requirement of 1.5. One of the challenges in any design is knowing where to add or remove material. With SOLIDWORKS simulation, we can use a design inside plot to tell us. This indicates on screen what the most loaded areas in the model are, but more importantly, it can give us clues as to where we can add or remove material. So now that we know where to add or remove material, we can start to make changes. But before we do that, we will want to store this current information and to do that, we can use the Trend Tracker. The Trend Tracker helps you detect trends in the results from different iterations of a static study. With this tool, we can rapidly find the optimal weight, allowing us to monitor changes in our part through each of the design changes. After we have made our design changes, let's rerun the analysis and interpret the results. Looking at the results, we will want to see what the new factor of safety is for our component. After creating these pockets to remove the bulk of the material, we will rerun the analysis one more time. And taking a look at our train tracker results, we can see that we have decreased the weight and also reduced the maximum stress in the component. The Trend Tracker is a great tool for keeping track of the various iterations of our design. SOLIDWORKS Simulation provides an automatic way to export your results to a comprehensive report document. The report includes the key takeaways from our study. Not only have we managed to reduce the weight of our component, we were also able to maintain all of the strength requirements for our design. With easy to use tools, you can test your design virtually without the need for physical prototypes. Create advanced contact definitions between your components. Easily mesh and run your study. Create powerful result plots to show stress, deflection, and the factor of safety in your model. Use the trend tracker to monitor changes in your design. What's more, 
the design and validation have been produced in an integrated environment, bringing previously disconnected systems together, making SOLIDWORKS simulation one of the best tools for the job.